Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. Yeah, Litecoin did make that additional low. We talked about that um, expectation that we would get one more low here in this correction at least. Um, yeah, we talked about that in the last video. Few reasons because the Elliott wave count still suggested another low. And in addition to that, we also, um, we also haven't really seen any evidence that the correction was over. In fact, it actually just rallied into resistance in what we call here or label here a wave four. So this wave four, purely maxed out resistance but the as you can see here the four hour candle didn't even close above the 38.2 retracement which i normally consider the ideal target for a fourth wave so from that point of view everything went according um, to script until now and now we just need to be watching for a potential bottom here and in my opinion it i mean I can't tell you it will find a low, but I hope it will, because if it's forming a low and if this is the correct wave count, then it should ideally find a, a low na between now, yeah, between 88.80 and 81.77. Ideally, I don't really want a sustained break below 88.80. Yeah? Uh, if it does, next support will be 85.45, which already, okay, I would still accept as, as relevant support. Below that level, it's going to be difficult. And um, if we get a sustained break below 85.45, I think this setup is likely going to break. But the official make or break point is 81.77. Already suggested to you, explained to you that uh, we probably deal here with an ABC correction. Yeah, what I didn't like about the count, and that certainly um, reduces the reliability of it, is that the A wave was so long. You sometimes see it when the A wave is too long and goes way below the golden ratio, below the 61.8 retracement, then the C wave may run out of space and you may get an invalidation. Um, I just have to emphasize again, it's not really an altcoin market at the moment, even though Litecoin among all altcoins is certainly one of the more interesting setups. But I think Bitcoin, Ethereum, that's the market right now, in my opinion. The, the altcoins, even the ones with, with really good long-term charts, they don't look really good. Um, I just have to emphasize that again, um, but yeah, I mean, the setup is still valid. Um, this is a wave two pullback at the moment. I'm counting it as a wave two, as long as we're holding 85.45 below that, I would start to take a more bearish stance and we would then need to do a bit of relabeling. Um, the next most bullish wave count in that case then, but uh, I, you know, I have no evidence for that at this stage, um, would be that you can see the daily chart now, you see it of the um, June 22 lows. Yeah, The next most bullish wave count then would be that we had all five waves already complete. At the moment, I'm counting the last wave up only as the wave one of the wave five. So there should be more room to go. But if it doesn't, and if we get an invalidation, then I would have to look um, at uh, the assumption that this wave five was already in and the wave one was in here with the last high around $115, I think it was. And we are already coming down in a large ABC structure and could then come down into the region between 50 and $70. Okay. So that would be the next best or next most bullish uh, scenario. But until invalidation occurs, there is no need to change the wave count. Yeah? But that would probably be my next best um, scenario, the second could call it the second most likely scenario. Always try to filter out the unlikely scenarios anyway. Um, yeah, but um, I mean, this is sort of the situation here at the moment that we are looking at. Um, just thinking, I mean, there are other ways of counting this, but I think this is probably the best one. And looking at it, you know, the way five might get one more low again, you know, a one, a two, a three. Maybe the wave four is currently in the making, a bit of consolidation, one more low, would be pretty much in line with Bitcoin, to be honest. But what I can tell you at the moment, I have no indication that it has bottomed yet. So you need to be aware, as long as the lower time frame count is down, of course, invalidation can occur. I mean, all I'm calling out here are the relevant support levels relevant for this setup. And if we don't see a reaction to any of these, then obviously uh, the setup can break. Yeah? So um, at some point, I will confirm a reversal, but um, I need to see a signal here. Yeah, um, but that's that's the area where a signal ideally, based on probabilities, would occur. Yeah, that's my update about Litecoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.